how to draw profiles. Let's do this. Okay, we're going to draw a profile between uh, points B and point C here. So what you will need is a pencil, and you definitely want to use a pencil, and a piece of uh, scrap paper. I have a small piece of scrap paper. And what you want to do is take your scrap paper and line it up along the line right there, on the line BC, like that, okay? And then everywhere, the you want to mark, I'm sorry, you want to mark B and C, B and C, okay? And then you want to write the value for them. So that's uh, 550, and as you can see on there, these are in meters, uh, and the contour interval is 10 meters. They usually will say that, and you're going to need that. So, And then mark the value there, 550 meters and 550. And no, I'm, I'm going downward with it, and that's for a reason. And then what I'm going to do is every time a contour line crosses my paper, I'm going to make a little mark there, and I'm going to mark the elevation. So this, you got to determine, is this going uphill or is it going downhill? That's 550. That's 500. So, and they go by tens, as it says right here. So, that's uh, 550, 540, 530, 520. So, this is 540. It is common that people will think it's going uphill and write 560. And, uh, you know, that's, that's going to be wrong. So, you have that in 540. Again, notice I'm writing it downward. The next one's right here. Uh, this is 540. That's downhill, 530. Okay, the next one's right there, and uh, you, you, what you want to do sometimes is, is pull it away and realize that this 530 line goes all the way off and comes back, so this line's also 530. Another common mistake is writing 520 on that one, so this is 530 as well, and then the lines get really close together right there. So they have five, that's 540, but going back uphill, 540. That's 550, okay? And then as the next one is C, and that's also 550. So what you'll have is a, a paper with a bunch of markings like this. And then on the bottom here, you're going to have this grid. And what you want to do is you're going to transfer the points here. So you want to line B and C up. They should match pretty, uh, pretty exactly. And then you want to transfer points uh, at these elevations. So you want to go like this. Slide it up here to about there. And then this is 550. And we often use X's. X is really the best thing to do. Dots can be a little tricky. Um, and then you want to slide it down. And right there, you want to be really accurate with this. And then I'm sliding down. This is 530 right there. And then this is also 530, so I don't have to slide it down anymore right there. And then the next one's 540, so I slide it back up. X. Next one is 550 right there. And then C is also 550. So now you have a bunch of X's that you've transferred over to your to your grid here. Now, before, the key thing is you want to connect them now with a line. And uh, before we do that, I want to ask this question. In the real world, when you see a hill or a, or a mountain from the side, what does it look like? Does it look like A or does it look like B? It looks like B generally. That's that's the profile of mountains for the most part. Um, some rare cases it looks like that, but overall it looks like B. And that is how you need to connect your points. So that is very important, and a lot of people uh, that's where that's where they get it wrong. So what you want to do is you want to go right through all the X's here like this and through this one. And now I want to go down. I want to go below 530 for the rounded. This is like a river valley here or a stream valley, but I don't want to touch 5. 20 because it doesn't go down. I'll go like this, make it clear, go back up, make sure I'm going through my X's, and now 550 here, it goes over 550 a bit, doesn't touch 560, and there you go. And that's the profile uh, from B to C. That's what this would look like from the side right here. If you, you were looking here, here's that stream valley of Woodland Brook, and then here's sort of this little um, uphill section here, rounded hill. So that's how you draw profiles. I'm Mr. Gaza. Thanks for watching.